Okay, hello everybody. Good evening. Hello teacher, buenas noches. Hello Jocelyn. Looks Hello teacher. Listen good. Hoy se ve bien. Yes. Okay. Ay, hoy sí, espero que no me falle. <risa> Ayer estuvo terrible, por lo que veo. Es que, era, es, que es mi Inter. Sí. No, es que, no es que estuviera lloviendo, sino que es uh -huh. mi Inter. A veces sucede, mire, a veces lo que es, a ve, bueno, a veces me, a mí me sucede que, que no me enciende la cámara en algunos casos, pero no sé, a veces como que cuando uno entra a alguna eh, plataforma, como que algo se desconfigura. A mí lo que me funciona es salirme, apagarla y volverla a encender. A veces, a veces funciona. Y a veces, cabales, el internet, hay, hay varios factores. Pero hay que probar. Lo bueno ah, es que... Oh, ya sé. A la ajá. próxima me voy a salir y voy a volver a ingresar. Y apague la computadora. O sea, completamente la vuelve a encender y vuelve a ingresar. A veces eso hace que el micrófono, el audio, la cámara de uno vuelva a funcionar. Entonces, este, ah, bueno, son, digamos, como que se vuelve a, a re, como que se resetea, como decimos, right Y a eso ayuda a que vuelvan sí, a funcionar sí. las, cada una de las partes. Ok. Gracias, teacher. No, good. Good, good, good. Ok. Hello, Reina. Lilian Milagro. Hello, Milagro. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lili. Lily Osorio. Yes, and then we have Jennifer, Jenny, Ivania is here too. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hi, teacher. teacher. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ivania. Okay, good. Getting ready. Hello, getting, getting ready. Yes, hello, Reina. Hello, teacher. Okie dokie. So we have. Okay, just um, I sent you a list. I les mandé una lista de algún vocabulario para que, eh, digamos, de, de cocina, right? This is in case you want to to do some some cooking. Okay, if you want to practice. Uh, by the way, who likes cooking? Who likes cooking? ¿A quién le gusta cocinar? Me, teacher. Ah, okay, Jenny. Okay, what's your favorite food to cook? Um, seafood, especially fish. Oh, really? Wow, delicious. Fried fish. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Fried, fried delicious. fish. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, that's very, very delicious food and nutritious too. Okay, fish is good. Helps a lot. Okay, I guess that, uh, you know, when you talk about the uh, fish, you know, cooking fish, I mean, you have to use a lot of oil, right? Oil. And that's, I mean, really a lot, right? So that's the only bad thing, but it's the delicious part. Okay. Hay unos que se cocinan que hasta las espinitas pueden comer. Right? Exactly. <laughs> that's bien, bien, bien frititas. Yes, that's delicious. Okay, ya me va a dar hambre, mejor no hablo de eso. Okay, good. Then, then, then we have, what time, what time do you have dinner, people? ¿A qué hora cenan ustedes? What time do you have dinner? Mm, at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Just said it. And you, Jenny? Um, Seven p.m. Teacher. Seven p.m. Okay, it's a good time. Lo que caiga, teacher. Yes. Jennifer, así me pasa mi vez, Jennifer. Sometimes at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yes. 
Yeah, six. This is in mejor, la mejor hora, right? To have dinner, yes. And Milagro? Um, uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m., okay, yes. That's, that's a good time. This is a buen horario, right? Okay, good. What else? And you, teacher? Uh, sometimes, a veces a las seis, sometimes at, after this class, a veces after the okay. class, and other times, usually eight or seven, 7 p.m., okay? Es raro que coma bien temprano, it's usually late, usually late. Okay, in the fin de semana, what? Right around seven, eight, eight thirty, nine. Okay, so it's is the I'm getting used to that. Okay. Teacher, what? Tell what me. did you, you do in vacation? Ah, okay, good question. I. It's, well, I stay in my house this this year. In my house, and I I was um, a cleaning some things in the some books. Okay, uh, repairing other things. Okay, just watching movies, uh, watching football games. Uh, very relaxing. Uh, kind of relax vacation. Okay, too much traffic, so I didn't go. I didn't go out. Only, let me see what day. One or one day, I guess. But I didn't go to the beach. Okay, this this year, but I love the beach. Probably in in Junio, maybe I will go. Okay, when I have my because I have another vacation. In my siguiente vacation, de junio, julio, then I aprovecho. I mean, I está menos, está más vacío, okay? No, not too full, okay? And the traffic is less too. Okay, I'm going to show you another list. And it's this one. This one. Okay, remember the countable nouns, right? Recuerdan los sustantivos que pueden contarse y los que no? Yes. For example, you say apple, banana, grape, pear, cherry, orange, tomato, lemon, strawberry, carrot, potato, olive, uh, egg. A sandwich, a hamburger, and hot dog. Okay, so these are some uh, words. Okay, that you can say one, two, three. Okay, that you can count. And there are some other words. Okay, that you cannot count, like water, flour, rice, etc. You have bread, cheese. A water, juice, flour, meat, chocolate, a soup, cereal, coffee, tea, salt, sugar, butter. Then we have jam, okay, jam, honey. There is jam and there is ham, okay? The jam and the ham, so they are different. In this case, we can use some, any, uh, and we can also use containers, okay? Contenedores or probably when we talk about the bread, we can talk about rolls, rolls of bread, que los bollitos de pan, right? The buns. Cheese, probably a pound, las medidas too, right? A pound of cheese, two pounds of cheese, three pounds of cheese. Water, 
We can use a glass of water, a gallon of water. Um, what else do we have? A, a liter of water, uh, a tank of water. Okay, so you can use containers or measures. Containers or measures. Okay. So we talk about containers. Vamos a hablar de contenedores o medidas. Okay. Uh, containers can be, let me see, a glass. Uh, Caps, vasos, tazas, eh, bowls, bowls, eh, bags. Eh, ¿Qué otro contenedor tenemos? Um, toppers. Uh -huh. Cushion. What else? ¿Qué otro contenedor que podamos usar como medida? Eh, toppers. Back up, balls, backs, toppers. Eh, let me see, what else, what else? Ah, uh, bottles, okay, yes, right. And gallons. Okay, etc. Okay, todos los contenedores, ahí podemos poner, por ejemplo, bolsa de pan, bags of bread. Entonces, cuando decimos bags of bread, ¿Cuál es el contable? ¿Cuál es el que se puede contar? The bags or the bread? The bags or the bread? Decimos two bags of bread. Entonces, ahí lo que contamos son las bolsas, right? Two bags of bread. El bread sigue bien sin plural, sin cambios, right? So, this is bags of bread. You can say, for example, a bag of cheese. Or you can say three bags of cheese. Again, la bolsas, right? That's what we count. Okay, pero las palabras siguen water, a glass of water. Here, a glass of water. Contamos el vaso, right? You can say two, two glasses of water. But water is still the same, okay? This is with the countable nouns, okay? You can say salt, sugar, butter, ham. Todo esto se puede ir por botellas o por pounds, libras, okay, and whatever. And this one? The quantity, one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, five apples, one banana, two bananas, three bananas, four bananas, and so on. Okay? So that's the countable nouns, countable foods, and then you have the uncountable nouns. También se van a ver como non-count nouns. A count, countable, or countable. 
now we're going to see in the platform with this one it says some and any and non count nouns conversation how about some sandwiches okay remember this so we also have the knowledge check and then we have some objectives but just listen to this conversation again hi everyone in this class you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question. Do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use 
any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's what we were doing last night, right? We we're going to the supermarket, the list of the refrigerator, and the list in the cupboard too. Okay, so this is the, the vocabulary that we were practicing. Here in the knowledge check, it says, complete a conversation with some or any. Here goes with Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, I'm <clears throat> sorry, and then you have two options, any and some. This one would be any or some, affirmative, negative, or question. Some. That would be some, right? Some. Yes. Good. When we talk about Amanda, it says, okay, do we have a question form, any or some? Any. Yes, because it is a question, right? It's a question and then say, do we have any mayonnaise? Any mayonnaise? Say, no, we don't need to buy some or any. Some. Some. Are you sure? Affirmative or negative? Yes, we need to buy some, right? Um, Affirmative, correct. We need to buy some. Good. We need uh, some or any onions. Some. That's affirmative too, right? Um. Okay, so then we have some. Oh, I don't want any or some. Any. Any. I don't want any. Mm. Okay, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Good. Uh, Amanda, then let's get some or any celery some some okay let's get some remember celery get a celery it's done when are you cutting the salads um no uh -huh. what, what is it for example Que lo sirven con las alitas, así con zanahoria ahí. Tapio. And celery. Okay. Ah, yes, Ivania, you like this. You like the muscle wings. No? Yes. No, I don't want any or some. Any. I don't want any celery. But let's put. Okay, let's put some some apples in it. There you go, right? Just remember that any for questions, negative. Some affirmative sentences. Solo hay una excepción en la que van a utilizar el some en pregunta. No me recuerdo si ya se las dije. No? Ok, van a ocupar some en preguntas. Siempre se ocupa any, ok? Pero cuando sea que ustedes van a ofrecer algo, ok? Cuando se va a ofrecer algo, una oferta de algo, ahí se usa some. Por ejemplo, do you want some coffee? 
Okay, do you want some coffee? Ahí va la pregunta, ok? La pregunta es, la respuesta sería yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Or no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Quiere café? Sí, por favor. Or no, thank you. No, gracias. Okay. Or puede ser no. Thanks. Un poquito más informal, right? Thanks. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa podemos ofrecer? No, thanks. Por ejemplo, se puede hacer más formal y decir, would you, would you like some, um, let me see, some pasta? ¿Le gustaría comer pasta? Would you like some pasta? Yes, está bien el would, ese es más formal que do you want. Eh, es como que a alguien le digan do you want, es como decirle a alguien querés. O sea, ser un poquito más uh, en confianza. Y would you like, sería algo así como gustaría, ok, gusta una taza de café, would you like some coffee? Ok, would you like a cup of coffee? Me gusta una taza de café. Do you want some coffee? ¿Quieres café? ¿Quiere café? Es menos formal. ¿Ok? ¿No problem? No. Ok. Very good. Ok. So here we go. Nice. Okay, so then uh, we have this one. It says uh, we have the breakfast food in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Okay, vamos a ver este video y después nos vamos a trabajar en grupos y vamos a preparar una pequeña conversación, right? Now pay attention. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the US, Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The US Eggs Bacon Toast with butter Orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly, Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, Fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. And soup. Fish for breakfast? house my fat let's have breakfast let's listen and practice listen again fish for breakfast 
Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times. Okay, so first remember that in every country we have different customs, okay, and traditions for breakfast. For example, in the US, they have eggs, bacon, a toast with butter, orange juice coffee, and they have some jam. In Japan, they have fish for breakfast. Imagine it's pescado para el desayuno, right? Rice, soup, pickles, son unos pepinillos, right? Como los que vienen encurtidos, right? Uh, green tea. And Mexico, it's very strong, very strong, right? Similar to El Salvador. These are... Um, very strong breakfast. Son unos desayunos bien fuertes, like in El Salvador too. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. So beans, tortillas. Like remember the tortillas in Mexico, son bien delgaditas, right? Very thin, very thin. And the fresh fruit, sweet bread, right? Pan dulce, right? The semita, right, is always there. And coffee with milk. Okay, so this is the breakfast in Latin America, uh, Japan, kind of Asia, and the United States, right? The United States as well. Okay. Now, no problem with the with the conversation. Okay, we're going to create a conversation. Just let me see if we can, uh, here it is, enter, it's right here. Okay, they're in chat. I know. Huh? That okay. Nothing, teacher. All right, right. Sorry. That's okay. In the chat, you will find the the image so that you can drop. Uh, SharePoint, no. Okay, so here we have. Then I'm going to three, four. Four groups. Here we go. Okay, vamos a preparar la conversación. Okay, de acuerdo a la que está en el chat, o pueden inventarla, right? Yo voy a llegar ahí a los grupos para que, si tienen alguna duda, para que empecemos a trabajar, okay? There you go. Go to your groups.
Okay, people. Remember that what you're going to do is to prepare the conversation. And let me see. Okay. Uh, for example, Lillian, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? ¿Qué es lo que usualmente come en el desayuno? Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Eggs. Uh -huh. Pan. Bread. Ok. Bread. Uh, y frijoles, ¿cómo se dice? Bean. Beans. Beans. Beans, ok. Good. For example, I usually, I usually eat a sandwich with a ham and cheese. O sea, usualmente me como un, eh, un sandwich de queso y jamón, right? And eh, coffee. And coffee and sweet bread y pan dulce, okay? Eh, and you, Brandon? Um, usually two sandwiches and avena. Hey, okay, and then you have also the mosh. Mosh, right, la avena. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. And then, uh, anybody? Pupusas. Uh, okay, hey, pupusas. Yes. Cheese. Cheese pupusas. Yes. Okay, good. Ok, then, eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita, ok, van a decir, hey, let's have breakfast, ok, así como está en la conversación, dice, wait, let's have breakfast together on Saturday, ok, eh, desayunemos, dice, juntos, el, el, pueden ponerle Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, cualquier día de la semana, right, o, oh, entonces, dice, Brandon, oh, ok, come to my house, Okay, come to my house. My my mother always uh, makes pupusas. Okay, and then you can say, really, what do you have? And then ya iban eh, cambiando algunas palabritas y pueden poner lo que les gusta a cada uno. Okay, got it? Practíquenlo y ya regreso que me están llamando del otro grupo de la sala 2. Okay, I'll be right back. Ya regreso. Ok, hello, yo sí. Hola, teacher. Este, yo no tengo la conversación. Tuve un problema con el grupo del WhatsApp. Ok. Y no me ha ido. A ver. Wait a minute. Ah, pero aquí no puedo. Pero está su número aquí en el WhatsApp. Sí, tendría que estar ahí. Ok, pero no la... Ah, es que yo no la tengo con nombre. ¿Cuál es su número? Sí, 7349. Entonces lo quiero una cosa, 73. No, yo sí, 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 que no está aquí. Ha de estar en el otro. Ay, no. 7349. <ríe> 3984. No. En este grupo que armaron acá no está. Tengo a Jennifer. Tengo a Jennifer. No. Y aquí no sé si la puedo agregar. Pero sí. Que como no le he hecho yo el grupo. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Por dar el voto. Eh, para salir del grupo, no, I can't. Pero te la puedo mandar así individual. Eh, Porfa. Yes, let me see what's. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, what's your number again? 70... 7349. 39.84. Okay, good. Now uh, here we have. Check. 
Jocelyn Quintanella. Okay. Sí, Quintanilla. Okay, good. Right now. Okay, now we have Okay, Bauer? Sí. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right. Then you can practice it. Y ahí pueden ustedes cambiar unas palabritas. Por ejemplo, dice, hey, let's have, uh, let's have uh, breakfast together on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, también el día de semana. Y ahí ponen lo que les gusta cada uno. Okay? I'll be right back. Ya regreso. Yes. Yeah, la vi. All right. Hello, Jenny. Hi, teacher. Why are you so lonely? Porque estás sola. <laughs> es, que, es que se me está yendo como el internet. Okay. Entonces creo que cuando le iba a apretar que iba a entrar al grupo, me salí. No. Ok, déjeme ver entonces. Entonces creo que quedé, quedé fuera, teacher. Sí, de, quiero ver cómo son los acá, permítame, Jenny. Ay, este Oscar tampoco ha entrado. Mira, la voy a mandar con, con Jocelyn y con Reina. Ok. Y ya voy a... Okay. Y ahora buscar a Oscar. <laughs> ok. En el group. Two. Okay. Group 2. Voy a de las orejas. Ok. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Reina. Teacher, no puedo entrar a la conversación esa. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué pasó? Porque no puedo ver la conversación. Mm, no la tiene en el grupo. Teacher. No. ¿Tu señal es claro? ¿La mía? Sí. No, es digo. Ah, qué raro que le falle. Ah, pero sí, falla bastante. No sé, es que yo creo está que... Está fallando lo... porque el internet aquí en mi casa se me ha estado fallando. Es, es la, a veces sí, es, sí. es la hora cuando hay demasiada, y esa hora es como hay mucho tráfico de, de familias que ya vienen a las casas y todo, entonces como que se satura. De humano. Más, uh -huh, más demanda. Y es, la suya es, es Tigo. Sí. Pero no le falla. No. Aquí sí, a veces sí me baja la, se ve que baja la, la ¿cómo es que se llama? La, la señal. Ahorita se supone que está bien. Right, so this is good. Eh, Jennifer, ¿usted sí tiene la conversación? Yes. Ok, let me see, milagro. Pero sí está en el grupo, ¿verdad, milagro? Yo no sé, teacher, en cuál grupo, si usted, cuando le ah, mando un, un mensaje, ni me lo responde. No, pues no, entonces no está conmigo, ya ve. Declaraciones fuertes. ¿Cuál es su número? 78. Ajá. 08. Sí, ahí está, ya ve, no, lo que pasa es que le han puesto, me acaba de pasar lo mismo con, con Jocelyn. Le voy a mandar al personal suyo, que me, de donde me escribe cuando me... Por eso es que no, no le contesto, mire, porque no está en este grupo. 
Ya ve, usted a ver a dónde me metió porque... No, no si es que esos grupos no los hago yo, pero no la puedo ni agregar, sino que ya son de, de la empresa donde de ya los hacen. Ve ahorita se lo mando acá, le me sí copiar. Me sí, mi macro. Ya decía yo. Y a veces me aparecen números, como no me mandan así por este, no me aparecen los nombres. Porque no, los, no están en el otro grupo. Vaya, ahorita se lo estoy mandando el suyo, miren, está. Porque la tengo por separado. Ok. Sí. Yes. Sí, ya me cayó. Ah, ok. Ay, ah, ya vi. Pero si no aparece en el otro grupo. ¿Y quién me aparece? Conversation, teacher, fish for breakfast. Ajá, uh -huh. you can say, for example, the, what do you, why, Alex, you can use, for example, let's have breakfast together on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, if they escogen el día, right? Eh, y ahí le puedo preguntar, what do you usually have for breakfast? Ah, uh, I have fish or, I don't know, whatever you want. Okay. Esa no es esa conversación exacta. No, 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 no exacta. Pueden cambiarla. Ah, ¿Sí? Para que lo practiquen con vocabulario. Por ejemplo, eh, Milagro, what do you usually have for breakfast? Um... Sí, usually, como generalmente. Um, como se dice plátano, sancochado, porque eso como en el desayuno. Then you say, for example, uh, these are like, um, how do you call boiled bananas? Boiled uh -huh. bananas, es como hervidas, right? Es sancochado. Okay, boiled Or bananas. Boiled uh -huh. And what else? Hey, qué bueno. Un cafecito, no. No, teacher, me gusta solo agua. Ah, ok, good. Qué saludable. That's good. Sí, no me gusta el café. Ok, and you, Jennifer? What do you usually have for uh, breakfast? Monday. Monday, uh, Tuesday, whatever. Lo que generalmente como. Oh, pues. no, mejor Sunday. Um, cereal. Ok. Y en milk. And milk, cereal and milk. Yeah. Yeah. Fish o... Oh. Oh, quiero ver... Chicken. Okay. For breakfast. En el desayuno. Uh -huh. No, ese es el lunch. No, uh, no, but only breakfast. 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 Uh, only cereal. Only oh. cereal. Or... Pupusita. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's, that's uh, a must. This is an obligation in El Salvador, right? Not to have no, some pupusas. No. 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 Milagro. Milagro, where, where are you from? Me hace daño. ¿De dónde es usted? De aquí. ¿Ah? Pero me hacen daño. Ah, ok, ok, ok. But and you teacher usually usually sandwich usually. sandwich with uh, a what is with it? ham or with chicken no ham and cheese ham. Queso ham. and yes but sometimes pupusas sometimes pupusas too okay so that's the the variation right with sandwich. coffee with coffee or with water no coffee okay what do you say What do you say is the avena? Así. Mosh. 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 Uh -huh. My. That's, that's mosh. Like a bit. Uh, I like when, him. When you go to the supermarket, you can say it says mosh, right? Mosh. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. It's a good one. Hey, Reina. Reina. Ah, Reina has just come in. Reina was not here. What? 
Reina no ha entrado, acaba de venir, acaba de aparecer. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. All right. Hello, good. Reina. No, but it's, it's in the other group. Okay, good. Okay, Jennifer. So, Jennifer, you like to eat pupusas? No problem with the pupusas? And you no. Eat, and do you eat cheese pupusas or beans? Mm, the ayote. ¿Cómo se dice ayote? Ayote. That's the same. Ayote. Yeah. Oh, really? Cheese. Yeah, ayote is good. Fijol. Cheese. Where do you buy? A dónde las encuentras? Porque esas no, no, muy, no son muy comunes. En cualquier ayer. parte, teacher. Really? No. Sí. La pupusería es donde yo voy. los queso, cheese, revueltas mixed. Uh, Ajá, pero... What else? Uh, a donde a veces encuentro es en el de Pío de Pico. Ahí sí se encuentran de todo. Ahí encuentra de ayote, de... Hasta, ¿cómo es que se llama? De... ¿Cómo es esa cosa? Jalapeña. Jalapeña, ajá. Uh, yes, cheese and, and jalapeño also is delicious. Delicious. Good. Can you make the pupusas? Can, uh -huh. can, can you make pupusas? Oh, yes, the crazy one. Yes, la, yes, la pupusa loca. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. the crazy one. <laughs> and you, Jenny, can you make the pupusas? Huh? Can you make them? Puede hacerlas. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. What's your work? I'm what is your... working. Huh? I in work. I working. Pupusas. You... Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Do you, have... Do you have a pupuseria? Sí. Oh, yes. Really? Okay, good. Nice. Ah, that's why por eso que tiene fe de ayote, right? Everywhere. <laughs> okay, so you have experience. Okay, good. Very nice. Okay, uh, voy a ver el otro grupo y luego llegamos al grupo general, okay? Practice. Practice your conversation. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, let's see the other ones coming back. Reina, where were you? Oscar, que se me hicieron? I didn't find you. Estábamos hablando con Reina, teacher, de ah. que hoy sí ya, ya hablamos un poquito más fluido, ya pronunciamos un poquito ya más pronuncia. fluido. Y... Sí, esa sí, conversación, es... pero yo siento que esa conversación estaba un poquito más fácil que las anteriores. Ajá, no tenía mucha. ¿Muchas? No tenía muchas palabras complicadas de pronunciar. Ah, bueno, sí, eso sí, eso sí. Hay otras que son más largas y llevan. Lo que pasa es que en otras, para darles un contexto. A muchas veces palabras ponen... complicadas de pronunciar. Ajá, ponen material que tal vez no lo hemos visto aún. Entonces, por eso a veces se siente un poco más complicada. Y esta casi todo lo que está ahí en la conversación ya lo, ya lo vimos. Entonces, pero qué bueno que uh -huh. lo sintieron así como más, eh, más, digamos, más light. Y ya fácil. Le digo a Reina, y si lo pronunciamos mal, pues entre nosotras mismas no nos damos cuenta. Fíjense que sí. Yo creo que, yo creo que sí se dan cuenta, ¿verdad? Cuando han pronunciado algo que no están muy seguros. Entonces eso es bueno porque, pero esa es la, esa es la idea de, este, de, de los grupos, es esa que que lo hablen y, y se vayan quitando la pena. Porque sí, claro. cuando se quitan la pena, luego pueden hablarlo y decir las cosas en inglés. Y entonces yo ya las puedo escuchar. Y al escucharlas, entonces yo puedo ayudarles a, a corregir algunos detalles de la pronunciación. Pero cuando es ese, no se habla mucho, entonces es más difícil que yo pueda adivinar ¿verdad? lo que están pensando. Por ejemplo, no le puedo decir ahorita, Ivania, no piense eso en inglés. Okay. Pero sí le puedo decir eso que es de esta manera, ¿ok? Entonces, creo que esa es parte de que me alegra que, que se vayan poquito a poco quitando el miedo, right? Good. 
Then uh, let's see, we have the conversation. Wait a minute. Let me, the thing on the group here too. Ok, remember this. Se la voy a leer para que si hay alguna palabra, al final me dicen cuál es la que se le dificulta a alguno de ustedes. It says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Kumiko, ok. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Sara, really? What do you have? Kumiko, we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Sara, fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Kumiko, sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. No problem with the pronunciation? Teacher. Yes, Milagro. La palabra de always. No sé cómo que dice. Always. Always. Uh -huh. Sometimes yes, we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Always. 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 Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. Digamos aquí las más sería let's have breakfast together, Japanese style, eh, breakfast, no, always. La última la palabra, no new, teacher. New things, things. La última. Uh -huh. Things. I like to try mm. things. Uh -huh. Me gusta probar yes. cosas nuevas. I like to try new, new things. New things. New things. Uh -huh. Okay. I like to try new things. It's always good, right? Eh, Ustedes son así como muy tradicionales. O les gusta probar cosas nuevas. Do you like to try new things? Do you like to try new things? Yes. 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 New things. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, defer to Jenny, Lagro, yes. Ivania, do you like to try new things? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, good. I remember that in the food is. It's extensive variation, right? It's extensive variation of food. And it's always good to, to try, you know, from, for example, the, eh, ¿Quién ha comido camarones así? Camarones, pero camarones grandes. Al ajillo. Let's say, uh -huh, casi así, pero no más este, como en... Langosta, dice usted. Ceviche. No, como ceviche, mm -hmm. pero de desayuno. No, buddy? No. No, no buddy. <laughs> no. Okay. Solo eh. para la cena hace poquito. <laughs> in my lunch, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, right. Entonces, por ejemplo, pero por ejemplo en Ecuador, en Ecuador le sirven a uno, o sea, ceviches y cosas así. Dependiendo de la ciudad en que esté también, si son del puerto, o sea, para el desayuno, o sea, igual que en Japón, igual que en Japón, que pescado de desayuno, pero, o sea, son costumbres, and people do it, right? So it's, pero sí, la verdad que no sabe tan mal, it's good, it's delicious, pero es cuestión de... Ya he probado las pacayas. Oh, yes, but no, I don't like them. It's too bitter, no, no. too bitter, sí, ya las he comido, pero too bitter en rellenos, right? Rellenos de pacaya, they're, pero son muy amargas para mí, no, aunque les pongan de todo, they always feel bitter, okay? Bitter, se lo voy a poner acá. Bitter, amargas. 
Okay. The flower is dotted. <laughs> what? Flower is dotted. Ah, yes. Uh, is that the flower? Hoy ya casi me comí cuando era pequeño, pero si ya después ya es raro, de, de hecho hasta para mí está raro verla. Yo tengo aquí, de hecho tengo una planta de isote, pero no da la flor, ya está ahí en casi de dos metros. Pero, pero sí es bien raro verla. Pero sí, es, me acuerdo que cuando era más pequeño sí no andaba con huevo. Ok, uh, isote flower with eggs, so they mix it. I don't remember. No me acuerdo bien del flavor, pero si me la comí de ahora estaba buena. Right. Then, uh, mm. yes. Pero la que sí me dejó traumada es la pacay. Right. That one. El país que se come su flor nacional. No, exactly. Mm. Yes. That's true. Así nos decían. Yo creo que quizás por ya no volví a comer. Eh, mm. What else? Yes. What else? What else? Mora. Which one? Mora. <laughs> ah, Mora. Uh -huh. Yeah, mora, that's sopemora. Yeah, that's good. Actually, it's good. Chipilin. Mm -hmm. Chipilin soup. Mora soup. Okay. Mora. The mora, yes. Chipilin. And toda esta sopa me recuerdo que las preparaban con, con huevo antes, right? And then a uh, bit of carne and things like that. So, tastes good. Not so um, good. Yes. And so, Which of pata. <laughs> Ah, yes, the legs. And so, of that? Legs, leg soup. Yes, leg soup. Delicious. Leg. Delicious. Delicious. I love it. That one, I like it. The legs soup. La sopa de pat, right? Yes, very much. Ya me dio hambre. Okay, what else? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, let me see. Yes, leg soup. So, all this kind is always good to try, you know, variation, right? Try new things. Okay, people. So we have uh, another one is, oops, it's, no, ya no tenemos tiempo para ver la otra, pero just let me show you what we have for tomorrow. Okay, this was the, the food. And then we have tomorrow, we're going to practice with the frequency adverbs, okay? Frequency adverbs are, for example, the adverbio de frecuencia, right? For example, how often we do things. We're going to use always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, eh, never, okay? These are the, for example, this one, always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Always, all the time. Usually, generally. Often, a menudo, right? Seguido. Uh, sometimes, well, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Hardly ever, casi nunca, right? Hardly ever. And never. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to use lo que siempre comemos, lo que generalmente comemos. Uh, seguido, a veces. Casi nunca y nunca. Okay, for example, I never eat papayas. Okay, I always eat, no, I always eat sandwiches. I always eat sandwiches. I often eat pupusas. Okay, I often eat pupusas. I usually, I usually eat meat. I usually eat meat. Uh, I sometimes eat, um, how do you call this, um, chocolate, sometimes chocolate. And I hardly ever eat, a, what is something that I hardly ever eat? A rice, arroz, right, rice, hardly ever. Okay. All right, people. So then practice with the frequency adverbs for tomorrow, okay? Y vean el video y mañana lo, lo vamos a ver acá y lo, y lo practicamos, okay? So have a very good night. Good okay. to see you again. See you tomorrow. And rest. Bye.
Good night, teacher. Practice your reading. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.